This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer or your printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If the printer doesn't turn off, it may have a paper jam, which we'll talk about shortly. If it does turn off, wait 60 seconds. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. This resets the print mechanism. Once the printer is back on, try printing a self-test page to see if you receive the message again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Scroll to print report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to self-test report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove any paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the rear access door. Check the printer for jammed paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door into the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Open the front access door of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that may tear off. Use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all the small pieces from inside the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the front access door. Plug the power cord back in. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. The printer will reset itself. As it resets, you will hear the printer preparing to print again. It may take longer than it usually does to turn back on. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Scroll to print report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to self-test report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. With the printer turned on, open the front access door of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. Close the front access door. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Scroll to print report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to self-test report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power source might be the issue. 
If the printer is not getting enough power, some features may not work correctly. Check the power source by first disconnecting the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet, and then plug it back into the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the Setup button. Scroll to Print Report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to Self-Test Report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Make sure the printer is on. If it's off, press the power button to turn it on. Without turning the printer off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Then wait 20 seconds. On the printer control panel, press and hold the pound key and the number 3 while reconnecting the power cord. When partial NVM reset appears on the control panel, release the pound and 3 keys. Wait until the printer is finished calibrating and the printer has stopped making noises. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the Setup button. Scroll to Print Report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to Self-Test Report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Sometimes, improperly inserting cartridges can cause a carriage jam. Let's make sure that the cartridges are properly inserted. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Open the front access door of the printer to expose the cartridges. The carriage will move into the access area. Gently press the cartridge down. The cartridge releases so you can remove it. Be careful not to touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink nozzles. This can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Reinsert the print cartridges and gently but firmly push it until it pops into place. Make sure that each cartridge is in the correct slot. Tricolor on the left and black on the right. Close the front access door of the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the Setup button. Scroll to Print Report and press the OK button. Then, scroll to Self-Test Report and press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.